Hi, welcome, I'm Dr. Carla Tadek and you're watching my fantastic YouTube channel on cysts and lipoma removal. In the next clip, we've got a very common complaint and that's cysts that get stuck in hair follicles, typically in men with beards. They can grow, they can get infected, they can be unsightly and painful. In the next clip, what we've gone and done is we've gone in, opened it, cleaned it out, and then closed up the cyst. If you think you've got a similar complaint or any other skin complaints that you've seen on my YouTube channel, then please don't hesitate to contact me at lipomacyst.com. And remember, if you like the video, like it, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are subscribed, don't forget to press the alert button so you receive notifications. But most of all, enjoy the video. Till next time, bye-bye. Perfect. So how long has it been here? God, I think I've got three years. Three years, okay, sharp scratch. So does the rug shop have like a, what's it called? A Freaky Friday, Black Friday thing? No. 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 Nothing down on the King's Road is cheap. <laughs> but I want Apart them. from medical services. Oh, they, absolutely. They are, I they are. make a donation, believe me. Put, yeah, I will. <laughs> We happily accept Amex, all sorts of major credit cards. <laughs> no, we just accept Ferrero Rochers. All Ferrero Rochers. <laughs> Front desk, so you love a big box of Ferreros. <laughs> no, not good. No, no, for me. So yes, we just ordered all those new plugs. Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just make a small incision and try and get this thing out. Oh, I thought you'd done that. No, no, just putting the anaesthetic in. Oh, it works okay. very quick. Okay. Can you feel anything? No. Good. Nothing at all. After a quadruple heart bypass, I can understand it. Oh, yes. Hmm. He was telling me he had a cardiac arrest um, in the train station. Oh, dear. But he was very lucky to have a paramedic. And a doctor. And a doctor. Well, they have defibs now in all train railway train. stations, don't they? Yeah. But some guy has designed a defib in a drone in a drone. In a drone. Oh. I've got the video of it. And you, you can fly the drone, can be with you in under two minutes. And he's planning to, this design, to have them all around, all around the world. They reckon it's going to make him a very rich man. Oh. That's a good idea, actually. Oh, it's unbelievable the way they the video. But now they have them everywhere, so I'm not sure. Yeah, we've got them on site, in my site office. I'm a great believer because it saved my life. Yeah. Would you want to see it afterwards? I'd love to. I'd love a copy. <laughs> Are you on blood thinners? Yes. Yeah. I thought so. Okay. Good. That's the sack out. Let's show you that on camera. Really? Yeah. My God, I'm so pleased about that. Yes, I hope that won't bother you anymore. Let's take a look. Why do they grow? Yeah. Back in the body? Yeah, they're just little glands that get kind of blocked. They're meant to be producing oil and 
stuff to keep the skin nice and supple but uh, they get blocked but they keep producing the oil which is a bit of a, a bit of a bother because as you know oil is a very energy rich product yeah and so if bacteria get their grubby little mitts on it they start to proliferate and the whole thing gets infected you develop abscesses they become red and painful uh, and much more complicated to treat so i always recommend getting them cut out as soon as we see them and that's why i saw it on you and i was like it's not infected i wouldn't be able to rest this weekend if uh, if, if it got infected over the weekend and that's why i thought we'll just do it quickly I've had two of these now. That's the second one. Yeah, it's diabetes. Is that one? Yeah. Um, and it increases the risk of them getting infected as well. I had one years ago there on my shoulder of people. Ah. I was very worried about that one. And, and, and skin types as well. You know, certain skin types are more prone to developing them than others. Really? Yeah. Not bad skin, is it plastic? I wouldn't, uh, no, I wouldn't say it was bad skin, more sort of bad luck. I'm definitely not in bad luck, I've had a lot of good luck in life. Yeah, yeah, I mean, in, well... <laughs> Especially with a heart attack. <laughs> you've had some fantastic luck. What is the most luckiest, what is the most luckiest opportunity you've had in life, other no. than the heart attack? <laughs> other than the heart attack? surgeon said I should never have made it to the ambulance. That's charming. And then his cardiologist said he was very lucky. <laughs> the cardiologist. And that just, just in, he's just covering all bases, isn't he? In case he gets That's it wrong. That's a 99% blockage. 99%. 99%. 99%. Yeah. 99%. Like 99%, that's like 100%, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that's not too much. He said I shouldn't have made it. Oh. I told him he was very lucky to survive an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. So, not many people survive in hospital. Yeah, so that means making the most of every day you've got, yeah? Good I point. said to my girlfriend when I was going down to surgery, Oh yeah. I said, you know where all my cards are and my money? I oh. said, go meet somebody nice and oh. enjoy life. Oh. Take my money. That's nice. And all the nurses started crying in the lift, I never forget. Because <laughs> well, they wanted the cards? <laughs> <laughs> They wanted the cash, not the cards. <laughs>